welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we're going to be creating this amazing animated buttons which can be used to improve the user experience so if you're new to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button to get started i'm going to add a frame here so this frame i'm going to set the height to the width to 180 and then the height i'm going to set that to 52 here so i'm zoomed in that's why it's looking this big so here I'm going to add an ellipse here. So select that and then just drag your ellipse. So your ellipse can be of any size. Select this and then let's change the fill. After you must have done that, drag the ellipse and drop it inside the frame. So make sure it's inside the frame. Then you can push it downward here. So now make sure you have your ellipse here and then if it's still visible, scroll down, select the frame and make sure you have this clip to content. Click on the text to add a download, download here. So now we're going to align this to center here. Once we have that, I'm going to select this and duplicate this here. So I'll be keeping this for our next example. So now I can select this item and then convert the border radius here to, let's do 52 divided by two here. We have the rounded. So now convert this to a component here. We can rename this to button one, button one. So now click on the plus sign here to add a variant. So on the variant here, that's the variant two, click on the ellipse. So after selecting the ellipse, press shift and alt to increase this ellipse in this manner here till it covers this. So this is okay. So we can click outside here. So for my ellipse, I'm going to change the color to white. White. So now I'm going to reduce the opacity to 30, something like this. So now I can now go to prototype, select this item, drag it here and point to this here. So this is going to be while hovering here. So now we're going to set that to smart animate and then it should be linear. So we can close this here and then we can add a frame here. So once you have this frame, you can go to your add set file, drag this button and drop it in here. So I'm going to hold shift and then the space and then let's do this. You see, we have this effect on the button. So let's work on the next one here. So I'm going to duplicate this for the third example. So I'll drag this here. So let's go back to our layers. So select this frame and make sure it's opened and then delete the ellipse. So right now I'm going to add a rectangle, but this is also going to be inside of this. So you notice my rectangle is inside frame two. So I'll drag this down it's at the bottom here. So I'll click back on my design here. So now I'm going to make sure that it's having the same height here. So this, I'm going to change it to something off, maybe yellow, yellow like this. So once we have this, I can now select this and then push it to the end here. So now select this frame two, convert that to a component, then click on the plus sign to create a variant. So we have our button two. So I'll just quickly rename that to button two here. So now select this item here, look for our frame, and then let's push it in here. So once it gets to this point, we can increase this here like this. So now the next thing is we go to our prototype, select this button, drag and drop this here. So now this is going to be while hovering and then we're using the same settings. So now I can go back to my assets and then drag this item here. So now we can select this frame and press shift and then the space bar. I'm just scroll down. So you see we have this nice effect on the button. So I can close this and let's work on the third button. So for the third button, I'm going to select this frame four here and then go back to layer. So I'm going to duplicate this Ctrl D for the next one. So for this, I'm going to select this item here and let's delete, go to frame four. I'll open my frame four here. 
I'm going to delete this item here. So what we're going to add here is the rectangle. So I'm going to select this and add a rectangle. So of the same height with this, sorry, the same width. And I think I'm also going to make it, sorry, I'm going, also going to make it the same height, which is 52. So I'll add the border radius. So to do that, I'll select the two items here, select them, and then we can do 52 divided by two since they have the same size here. So after that, I'm going to change the color of the second item to black here. So now I can select this item and try to push this here. So you can right click and then send to back. So once you've done that, make sure you push this to this point here where you're comfortable with. So you can select the two items here and try to align them properly here. So once we have this, I'll push that a bit. So I can highlight these items here and control G to group them, or you can just convert them to a component. Once you've done that, click on the plus sign here to create a variant. This is going to be button tree here. So after creating your variant, double click here to select this item. So try to push the blue one till it covers this black item here. So now select this item and then click on prototype and then drag this till it points to this. This is going to be while hovering. So I'm going to change that from smart animate to instant here. So now we can close this item here and then increase the height of this and we can select this item, drag it and drop it here. So now select this, press shift and then the space bar. Let's see the animation. So we have this animation here. So the last one we are going to work on, so will be this. So here I'll go back to my design here and uh, this text, I'll go to layer so that we can see. I'll try to remove this text from this frame here. So I'll select this frame and then change the height to four. So we have our item here, two of our item here. So I have this here. So let's select these two items here and then press this button here to convert them to a component. So after doing this, I'm going to create a variant for this. So here, let me just drag this a little. So this is going to be our button four. And for this item, double click on this, then we can drag this here. You can drag this. So if you have much space, but don't touch the text here. So now the next thing we want to do here is select this item here and then go to prototype. Then click and then drag and point to this item here. So once you've done that, this is going to be while hovering. And then we are going to use the smart animate. So let me scroll down so that we can see linear and then we have this. So now I can go back in here now and select button four. So drag it and drop it in here. So I think one thing is left here. Let me select the design here. So let's work on the color of our text. So for this here, I'll double click and change the color to the same blue here so that we have this here. So now I'm going to open this shift and then the space scroll down to where we have this Let's see, we have this animated text. So if you like tutorials like this, please kindly hit the subscribe button. Thank you.